Okay, so it's getting time to uh, fill off a barrel. So we've been prepping this brand new barrel that uh, Ray from Lethbridge Estate sorted out for us. So thanks, Ray. Um, smells magnificent. They're just beautiful, toasty aromas coming out of that. Um, good French oak. Uh, it's the way to go for me, just so much more subtler and layers in beautiful flavours. So we just need to prepare that by making sure there's no leaks in it. Uh, so we do a quick soaking of the heads by standing it on its end, so vertically, and filling it with a bit of water uh, and leaving it for half an hour on both sides just to make sure there's no leaks. That's come up okay. And then the next thing we do is pressure test it. So to pressure test it, we'll whack a bucket of hot water in there, uh, whack the bung in, and then see, uh, see whether it's holding pressure, whether there's any leaks or anything like that by giving it a quick slosh around and making sure there's positive pressure from the bung. So let's go ahead and do that now. So bucket of nice hot water. Hopefully I can get some of it in the barrel. There we go, not too bad. There it is. All in there. My assistant winemaker's coming to help. You gonna help me, Genevieve? I'll put the bung in. Give the barrel a big slosh around. Water going all the way around it. Quick. Let's do a quick check. So we're listening for air coming out anywhere, having a look for some bubbles. Um, not seeing anything, the barrel is looking good, it's looking nice and tight. Uh, so we'll just check whether the bung gives us some positive pressure. Good sound. Uh, this one's good to go, we'll just drain her out. You've got a string? That's excellent. So this, uh, this bad boy is ready to go for tonight, we're going to fill off. Uh, the ferments are down low and we're going to add uh, We'll take off one barrel worth of, uh, of wine of the uh, approximately three that we've got. So about a third of the wine will go through and have a tiny little barrel ferment just at the end of the, uh, the process. And we'll macerate the rest of the fruit in another of the vats for a few more weeks, depending on how it's tasting. And then it will be pressed off into barrel. So looking forward to filling one of these babies and uh, having some lovely uh, layered in oak character coming into this exceptional fruit that we've got this year for the bathtub wine making project. Cheers guys.